From Water to Wine Chapter 2 Three days later there was a wedding in the village of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. Jesus and his disciples were guests also. When they started running low on wine at the wedding banquet, Jesus' mother told him, They're just about out of wine. Jesus said, Is that any of our business, mother, yours or mine? This isn't my time. Don't push me. She went ahead anyway, telling the servants, Whatever he tells you, do it. Six stoneware water pots were there, used by the Jews for ritual washings. Each held twenty to thirty gallons. Jesus ordered the servants, Fill the pots with water, and they filled them to the brim. Now fill your pitchers and take them to the host, Jesus said. And they did. When the host tasted the water that had become wine, he didn't know what had just happened, but the servants, of course, knew. He called out to the bridegroom, Everybody I know begins with their finest wines, and after the guests have had their fill, brings in the cheap stuff. But you've saved the best till now. From the upcoming film True Crimes, please welcome two-time Golden Globe winner, Jim Carrey. Thank you. I am two-time Golden Globe winner, Jim Carrey. You know, when I go to sleep at night, I'm not just a guy going to sleep. I'm two-time Golden Globe winner, Jim Carrey, going to get some well-needed shut-eye. And when I dream, I don't just dream any old dream. No, sir. I dream about being three-time Golden Globe winning actor, Jim Carrey. Because then I would be enough. <laughs> it would finally be true. And I could stop this, this terrible search. Hello there. My name's Dave, and this is 10 at 10 on a Tuesday. What's the best thing you've ever done? What's the pinnacle of your life was there a moment you thought that's it I've peaked that's the bit that's the, the thing that I, people are going to remember about me I'm going to really love about myself for the rest of my life what's the, what is the best thing about you what is something that you do constantly from day to day that's really really excellent what do you excel at in the clip from the awards show with Golden Globes Jim Carrey was very comically saying that he's been the best twice he had two globe golden globes everyone has an excel in them and kind of an excel a great moment in their life or something they're really really good at which is the purpose why they're here a thing that you do or are or something that makes you the very best in the world sorry but my dog is pushing my laptop around <laughs> the camera's going with it in the passage today from the wedding at cana jesus makes the best wine in the world ever from bath water. They would have used the water in the flagons to wash in if they hadn't used it for amazing wine, which it turned into, had it not been for Jesus' actions, it would have been something that somebody had bathed in or uh, ceremony, ceremonially washed themselves in. And Jesus used just 18 words to change the course of history. Jesus burst onto the scene it was at a very small wedding in a backwater town in a largely forgotten province of the mighty Roman Empire. And we're still talking about it today. Some people make big instant impacts on the world that they live in, don't they? Susan Boyle, for example. Susan Boyle was at Britain's Got Talent for the auditions in 2009, and she stepped out onto the stage at the, at the auditions and looked as though she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. But what happened in the next three minutes changed entertainment history. My name is Susan Boyle. Okay, uh, Susan, um, where are you from? I am from Blackburn near Bathgate, West Lothian. It's a big town. It's a sort of collection of, it's a collection of uh, villages. 
I just think there. And how old are you, Susan? I am 47. <laughs> and that's just one side of me. OK, what's the dream? I, I'm trying to be a professional singer. And why hasn't it worked out so far, Susan? Well, I've never been given the chance before, but here's hoping it'll change. OK, and who would you like to be as successful as? Elaine Page. Elaine Page. Like what are you going to sing tonight? I'm going to sing I Dreamed a Dream from the Miserables. OK. Big song. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I dreamed a dream in time gone by Michael Owen used to play as a centre forward for Liverpool. He was quite well known in the UK when he got to the global stage. He got to the World Cup in France in 1998 and he became an instant global sensational football star when he scored a brilliant goal against Argentina. Nick Clegg. No one outside of the, outside of the Liberal Democrats had heard of Nick Clegg as a leader as anybody before the 2010 UK general election. And then he appeared on the first ever election debate with Gordon Brown, the then serving prime minister and David Cameron, who was about to follow Gordon into number 10. But the debate was probably won by Nick Clegg, who six weeks later had become the deputy prime minister of the UK. Kate Bush. In 1978, Kate Bush appeared on Top of the Pops as an unknown 18-year-old singing Wuthering Heights. She became an overnight sensation. She rocketed to number one in the charts. And now, 44 years later, she's back at number one. And she has broken three chart records this week alone. Out on the windy, windy moors we roll and fall in green. You had a tent. Instant impact some people have in their lives, don't they? The Jewish community around the time of Jesus was a very close-knit community. They got together to talk frequently. They would chew the cud, they would discuss the scriptures, they would talk to each other, they would gossip. So not surprisingly, this news of Jesus at the wedding, miracle they performed, would have spread like wildfire around that time, around those places. They were very, very close knit, lots of verbal communication, and it would have just gone around like a, a, a forest flame catching light. Jesus had entered the global stage with a big bang. The host tasted the water that had become wine, and he called out to the bridegroom, Everybody I know begins with their finest wines, and after the guests have had their fill, bring in the cheap stuff, but you save the best till last. Now, he's not actually saying that to the bridegroom. <laughs> Ironically, because it's Jesus that's done the miracle, Ironically, he's saying to Jesus, you, Jesus, have saved the best till last. Jesus was and is the best at everything. It's like playing him at poker when he's always got the winning hand. He never ever loses. He excelled in all that he did, and he still does, through us. And you have the potential to be exactly the same as Jesus, the potential to reach the heights of your life. In heaven, you are the world record holder for your unique speciality, what you do best, what you were brought to this earth to create, to have a purpose. That's what you do best. You're the world record holder at that task. And what is that speciality, I hear you ask? There's only one way to find out. Go straight to the horse's mouth. Apologies, Lord, I'm calling you a horse. I don't mean that really. What I mean is go straight to the source of all power and all love and all energy in the universe, i.e. Jesus, and he can tell you exactly what your best is. If you don't know it already, maybe you know that. Maybe you know what you're good at. Some people, they're good at something and don't realise it. 
So it's good to be pointed out. Maybe you need to ask somebody that you trust, what am I good at? And he saved the best till last. You. He waits until we use up all our earthly energy on striving to be good, to be excellent, to be well behaved, to be liked. All those things that we try and we strain and we strive and we urge and we move and we push. And then he says, let me fill your jar, let me fill your flagon, i.e. you. Let me fill you with the Holy Spirit. And then the best bursts onto the stage of your world and my world and the whole world because that's what you're here to do. See you next week. Thank you.